a key element for the development of life discovered in the ocean of Enceladus. Using data collected by the Cassini spacecraft, an international team of scientists has discovered phosphorus. A key element for many biological processes, in the material ejected into space from Enceladus. The search for extraterrestrial life in the solar system just got more exciting. A team of scientists has discovered new evidence that the subsurface ocean of Saturn's moon Enceladus contains a key ingredient necessary for the development of life as we know it. Researchers detected phosphorus in the form of phosphates spewed out by geysers on Enceladus. The data that made this discovery possible was provided by the Cassini spacecraft, which has been studying Saturn and its ring and moon system for over 13 years. The description and results of the research were published in the journal, Nature. Enceladus is only 500 kilometers across. It is covered with a thick layer of ice, which makes it the highest albedo of any body in our planetary system. It reflects more than 90%. The light that falls on it. Inside, beneath its icy crust, lies a deep, liquid ocean of salt water, where scientists hope to find life. This extraordinary celestial body is constantly subjected to strong orbital resonances. This phenomenon occurs when the orbits of two bodies, e.g. planets, around their parent body, e.g. stars, are closely related by gravitational influence. The relationship is such that for a certain number of laps of one of the two bodies there is a certain multiple of laps of the other. Which means that these bodies are regularly in the same configuration after completing a certain number of orbits. In the case of Enclidus, gravitational influences are shaped by the gravity of Saturn and the gravity of the more distant moon Dione. For this reason, the frozen crust of Enceladus is affected by tidal forces. So much so that cracks form in the thinner areas of the ice sheet near the moon's south pole. After all, these same forces cause the constant stresses that keep heat under a thick ice sheet. And thus the existence of liquid water. Liquid water under enormous pressure forces its way into these cracks, where it expands and flows out, creating geysers. Some of the material ejected from the interior escapes from the moon and feeds one of Saturn's rings, the E-ring. But some of it falls back to the moon's surface as snow, creating drifts as high as 700 meters in some places. During its mission from 2004 to 2017, the Cassini spacecraft repeatedly passed through the E-ring and the plumes of material ejected by the small moon. Scientists have found that Enceladus ice grains contain a rich array of minerals and organic compounds. Recent analyzes of data collected by the Cassini spacecraft have provided evidence that Enceladus's subsurface ocean is rich in phosphate. And phosphorus in the form of phosphate is essential for all life on Earth. It is involved in the formation of DNA and RNA, energy-carrying molecules, cell membranes, bones and teeth in humans and animals, and even marine microbiome and plankton. Life as we know it is not possible without phosphates. The fact that the ocean of Enceladus may contain phosphorus was reported last year. It is true that researchers at that time had no direct evidence of phosphorus in the ocean of Saturn's moon. However, they performed thermodynamic and kinetic modeling that simulates the geochemistry of phosphorus based on data collected by the Cassini spacecraft on the ocean system on Enceladus. In doing so, they developed a very detailed geochemical model of how seafloor minerals dissolve into Enceladus ocean. It turned out that phosphate minerals dissolve very well in the ocean waters of this moon. Anyway, the co-author of the new study is Dr. Christopher Glein from the Southwest Research Institute.
who also participated in the study from a year ago. In 2020, we used geochemical modeling to predict that there should be a lot of phosphorus in Enceladus Ocean, said Blind. Now we've found abundant amounts of phosphorus in ice samples from plumes of material ejected into space from cracks in the moon's icy surface. Analysis of the salt-rich ice grains showed the presence of sodium phosphates. The results of the scientists' observations, together with laboratory experiments, suggest that phosphorus is readily available in Enceladus Ocean in the form of phosphates. We found that the concentration of phosphate is at least 100 times higher in the ocean waters forming the plume emitted from the moon than in the Earth's oceans. Using a model to predict the presence of phosphate is one thing, but actually finding evidence of phosphate is extremely exciting. This is a stunning result for astrobiology and a big step forward in the search for life beyond Earth, Blind said. One of the most interesting discoveries in planetary science over the last 25 years is that worlds with oceans under ice are quite numerous in our solar system. These include the icy satellites of gas giants like Europa, Titan and Enceladus, as well as more distant bodies like Pluto. Worlds like Earth with surface oceans must be within a narrow range of distances from their host stars to maintain temperatures that will support liquid water. This range is called the habitable zone. Habitable zone or habitable zone. However, worlds with subsurface oceans can occur over a much wider range of distances. Experiments and geochemical modeling show that such high concentrations of phosphate are due to the increased solubility of phosphate minerals on Enceladus, which may also apply to other icy worlds with a subsurface ocean. Thanks to this discovery, it is known that the ocean of Enceladus meets what is generally considered to be the most stringent requirement for the development of life. The next step is clear. We need to return to Enceladus to see if the habitable ocean is actually inhabited, Glein said. We previously discovered that the ocean of Enceladus is rich in a variety of organic compounds. But now research has revealed a clear chemical signature of significant amounts of phosphorus salts in ice particles ejected into space from a small moon. This is the first time this vital element has been discovered in an ocean outside of Earth, said Frank Postberg of Free Universität Berlin in Germany, who led the new research.